We all love hitting the beach in summer, and we know that the safest place for us to swim is always between the red and yellow flags at a beach patrolled by lifeguards or surf lifesavers. But a lot of people swim at unpatrolled beaches, and tragically, that's where most of the drownings in Australia happen every year. The first thing when you hit the beach is to stop and think. Where are the lifeguards? If there's no lifeguards, are the conditions dangerous for me? Are the waves too big? Are there rip currents around? Because you do not want to go swimming if the conditions are outside of your comfort zone and if there's any rips. What I'm looking for is white water. White water means the waves are breaking, it's shallower, it's much safer. I'm also looking for these dark green gaps between the white water because the chances are those are rip currents and that's not where I want to swim. White is nice, green is mean. But they're not always easy to spot. That's why you need to spend time. You need to spend a few minutes. And if you start to see this persistent dark gap going out through the white water, chances are that's a rip current. A little bit of elevation always helps. Maybe there's a headland or a car park that's a little bit higher. That always helps spot these dark gaps a little bit better. But the bottom line is if you're not sure, if you're not sure if there's rip currents around, then you really don't want to go in the water. If you do find yourself caught in a rip current, don't panic because rips are just taking you for a ride. They don't pull you under the water. Please relax, stay calm, float, raise your hand or you wave your hand for help. Surfers do a lot of rescues and they have a nice flotation device that you can hold on to. So if you are in trouble, get their attention. Tragically, every year we get a lot of what we call bystander rescuer drownings and often it's a parent trying to save a child. The main thing to remember is don't rush in. Call for help and if you are going to go in the water, you must grab something that floats. Look around the beach. Maybe there's a boogie board lying around or a surfboard because that gives you and the person you're trying to rescue something to hold on to and that can make a difference. You go to the beach it's a place of joy, it's a place of relaxation, it's a place of fun, and it shouldn't be a place of tragedy. If you want to go swimming, you need to look up and down the beach, and if you see any lifeguards, lifesavers, if you see some red and yellow flags, that's absolutely where you need to be. Rip currents are the biggest hazard on our beaches and the biggest cause of drownings, so it really makes sense to just stop and think. If in doubt, don't go out. <laughs>